On this episode, we'll talk about a great trick that I use for myself when I need a little extra nudging getting rid of something. You're listening to A Little Debbie. It's a bite-sized version of the longer podcast, Upcycling with Deb. I'm your host, Deb Colometta. I wrote a number one best-selling book called Best Offer, Best Life. And you can get in touch with me and find out more information about the classes I offer, webinars or debinars, by going to my website, www.thedebsite.com. Wouldn't it be so nice if certain items had expiration dates, not just food? I reflected on this when unpacking groceries today. It's not just about finding a spot in the kitchen for the newest nourishment. Every time I clean out a cabinet or a fridge, I'm forced to toss stuff once it's expired. And usually I wait until the food is like really, really expired. The medicine cabinet has to be purged regularly too. Thankfully, we are all very healthy, obviously, because I just threw out Sudafed from 2016. 2016. It's been taking up precious room in my medicine cabinet for seven years. How do we go blind to that? Why don't we put an expiration date on our stuff? Literally, if you were thinking of tossing something and you have a change of heart, just put a label on it handwrite it on paper and use tape. Break out the Dymo Pro. Don't get too complicated because you'll start to second guess yourself. I put a huge stack of papers in an 18 gallon plastic bin. Then I set an expiration date of one year later and I put a big ugly sign on it that said, shred contents of this bin if not opened by 2017. Well, guess what, in 2020, I'm embarrassed to say the bin was still sealed, sitting on a high shelf in the garage. It was way out of the way and it seemed innocent enough, but it takes up valuable storage space for that in-between stuff. The things we need more access to more readily than something that gets thrown up in the attic. So finally, at long last, off to the shredder it went without a second thought, four years after it should have been shredded but shredded nonetheless. And I never opened it while it was sitting there on the big shelf. And I didn't have any second thoughts about bringing it to the shredder. It had no meaning to me clearly because I hadn't referenced it in that extra time. I told myself in 2016 to shred it in one year. And then I let five years actually passed from when I really did it. So I'm guilty of it too. It was a lot of medical documents and I just wanted to be sure, I guess. But Truthfully, I just forgot about it. It was kind of out of the way. I wasn't really tripping over it and didn't see myself needing the space. But then thinking about how ridiculous it is. I mean, if I hadn't put that note on it, I would just think, yeah, it sat there for an extra year or two. But no, it actually ended up sitting on that shelf for five years. An 18-gallon bin, that's pretty big. Think about putting an expiration date on your stuff. How many times do we do this with our clothes? Seriously. How long have I owned this pair of socks? I think I wore these particular socks I'm wearing now to a class at Syracuse University. I graduated 20 years ago. It's time to refresh. <laughs> I don't think twice about getting my kids brand new sneakers. If they need them and they've outgrown their old sneakers, we just go get them. We're lucky that way. But why do I have to hem and haw for months before I buy new clothes or new sneakers for myself? I hang on to the sneakers for a few seasons too long. And why is it so hard to swap out the old stuff? I do like that trick of hanging the item in the closet with the hanger backwards. And if you don't wear it that season and the hanger is still facing backwards, like in the opposite direction of how it usually would be if you hang it up, then it's time to donate your stuff. But here's the rub. You really do need to take action. And I'm talking to myself mostly here. <laughs> it's nice to flip the hangers and label the bins but it means nada if we don't put action behind our words like anything else in life. So why let some external force, an expiration date, crowded wrinkled clothes from overstuffed closets, or even a realtor, why let them tell us to lighten the load when we purge? Why can't we have that self-discipline to say goodbye at the appropriate time? It's freeing to exercise that power over our own things, strengthen that muscle, and model this for the kids. But if you do need a direct order, here it is. Get rid of your stuff. 
you deserve a clean and clear space for clean and clear thoughts. Let me help you. We can help each other. Join my mailing list for a big coupon on my webinar on demand. <laughs> we'll walk through the steps of purging over 200 or more items in your home together in three weeks. We'll cultivate habits for you and your family that will last a lifetime. And in the meantime, if you do need some help with knowing when to throw things out, try that trick for yourself. Use some masking tape, some regular tape, a Sharpie marker, whatever you've got. Label it with an expiration date and be diligent about following your own decree. Once that expiration date comes, make sure that you follow through.